to see you, beautiful girl. Good to see you too. Oh my god. Likewise, likewise. One of the daughters, one of the children, because she has brothers too, of the late John Daniel Singleton, who remains to date still the youngest director ever nominated for an Academy Award for Boys in the Hood. And we're here tonight closing out his opus, Snowfall in season six. How are you? I am great. Yeah. I'm like, wow, it's over. You know, I've been on it for three seasons and so much has changed and and it's finally over. Because you've been working behind the camera, right? Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah, no, I started in the locations department, just PAing in the office, you know, like it was it was good to see what's going on the, in production. And then I went on set, and that is a whole different world, you know? Like, I started yeah. working in the camera department, been on, in the camera department for two years, um, just, you know, doing utility work, and I'm just moving my way up. I learned a lot of camera operating from the camera operators. Um, what's the most fascinating technique you've learned? The technique, I believe, would just be like, you know the wheels on um, the Ronin? They have like a, a actual remote where they have three nodules, like I guess wheel, you know, just wheels you can spin. And it, it's like pen, tilt, and roll. So you're able to move the gimbal for the camera. Away, uh, like not actually being on it, but like it's connected wirelessly. Yeah, it's beautiful. Honestly, I, li I, I like learning the technique from, you know, yeah. So what has this experience taught you about yourself? Um, it taught myself that I'm eager and I'm driven and, you know, you I'm, I'm just on to the next You were day. coming to New York for school. I was. I was. I was. waiting for you, girl. I was. I was. And then my dad died and a lot of stuff just got real. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I lost my father too. Yeah, yeah. I'm like sorry. Two years after John. I'm sorry. So. I get it. You don't ever have to explain it to me. Yeah. Um, how do you inspire young talent? You know, to stay encouraged. Right. Yeah, I mean, just honestly, like my dad would say, just do it and fuck them all and just oh, do what you want. He to would. Do. This is John's baby because she dropped that f bomb. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them all. That's Fuck them all. He That's would definitely it. say. Yeah. Get out there and do that work. Yeah. Do that work. Do what you love. So what's next, like, for you? Like, what are you working on, like, outside of? I mean, I'm working on, you know, my own writing. and okay. Writing every day? Yeah, every day. And I'm also probably going to just be working on more shows, you know, just. I love that. You know, like. Work. You're brilliant. You're grinding. You're brilliant. You're brilliant. Yeah. And you are. You have amazing courage. I'll never forget one of the conversations you and I had about me being more supportive and having more of an allyship to LGBTQT. And I came out today. I'm like, I'm going to see Selena Soul. She's going to see me in my colors, supporting, being an ally. Yes. You know, and I, I, I want to thank you for that because I started to fortify more relationships. I interviewed Laverne Cox. Nico on and I did that for you. I'm like, I gotta do more. I, Nico. Yeah, I, I actually got to more. meet I got to meet Nico on set. Oh wow. Yeah, that was like so cool for me, honestly. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I'd love to be here until you grew it out. Oh yeah, I did. I did. it back on. I don't know. I might I don't you might. know. You might. So let me ask you something. How are you taking care of you? How am I taking care of me? Yeah, like how are you? What's your self care? I go on walks. Okay. I go like to the park. It's like an hour. No, no, sorry. It's like an hour walk to the park. You know, I walk. I have a dog too, and my dog is a strong dog. It's very strong. <laughs> I have a Belgian Malinois, so oh, wow. I have yeah. So I have to you know get her exercise, and I exercise myself doing it. Play tennis. Oh, I love that. You know, go on runs. Try to eat good. Sometimes eat like you know. Well, you're young, so you still you got a little bit. I can, I can, I you got a little bit, not too much. Room. Yeah, you know, a little I, bit. I <laughs> well, I'm so proud of you. You're such a light, so radiant, and so good to see you out here today because I know what this moment can be. It's good to see you too. Oh, thank you so much, baby. I miss you guys. So much. <laughs> <laughs> We need 
need to turn the camera off and just have tea. <laughs> I know. Because I've been with you guys since the infancy. Yes, since the beginning. I'm not, I promise myself, do not get emotional Don't tonight. Cry, Don't cry, do it. Me. <laughs> I'm not going to be crying, no. It, but I just want to say congratulations on just the evolution of Aunt Louie. Mm, thank you. I looked back at some of our old interviews that one and one of the ones in New York. I was like, get her together. Get her together. You know, because I have to, you know, I'm for the antagonist and I'm all this woman power. Like, just forget about the why. But for me, it's the woman power. Yeah. It's you or Aunt Louie standing in her skin. Right. You know, let's just talk a little bit about that. And you have a little girl, and you know what that means. I mean, I feel so privileged to be able to play a character that it is impossible to play in fear. Impossible to play Louie scared. <laughs> you can't do it. I tried. Believe me. And it is impossible. So how powerful is that in my own life to feel myself standing in the power of this character and to take things that I'm learning from her and apply that to my life? Say what you want. Say what you don't want. Go get it. I mean... I've learned so much. Say something. Season five, I forget what episode it was, where Aunt Louis says, "Well, that may not be our dream. That's that that's that's your dream. That's your, your dream. dream. That's yes. not my dream. That's Over right. here. That's right. You know. So there's so many. You, you've gained such a uh, a massive following mm. now and over the years. You yeah. know, six years. It's a long time. Right. Family's growing. You're growing, honey. <laughs> you know, yeah. family's growing. It's like. So much has changed in, in, in culture, just overall, and people are feeling disconnected, you know, disenfranchised, all the distance you can possibly think of. You know, can you speak a little bit of inspiration, you know, to anyone who may be having a difficult right time staying the course in the craft, right? Because they see these moments, and they're like, God, you know, Angela's doing it, but that's Angela. That's never going to happen to me, you know? I think one thing about social media and the internet is that we have this need for instant gratification, instant satisfaction, right? But things don't happen overnight. I've been at this thing for a long time. I remember... Went to cast. That's went to right. cast. Okay. Who up. else went to cast? Diana Ross went to cast. Lily yeah. Tomlin went to cast. Nico and I. Yes, Nico. Nico, Anna, and Joel Steingold. Uh, um, oh, gosh. She going to kill me. Oh, your bestie? WWU on MLK. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> her name. Um... Oh my God! It's okay, and I. It's not. But it's all in love. It's all in love. But we're talking about preparing. So, I remember ten years in, crying to my mother on the phone, crying to my mother on the phone like, it's not happening. It's not happening. And she said, "Well, did you think it was gonna happen overnight?" And I said, "Well, not overnight, but not ten years." And that was ten. And I still had a long way to go before I even got here. So it does not happen overnight. You have to stay the course, you have to do your work. You have to put in the time, put in the grind, and be grateful for, for where you are, for what you have, for what you're doing, for what you're giving. You're giving a part of yourself to the world. This is your gift, you know what I mean? So stay the course. And know that everything that you're experiencing is pouring into your life story, and that will come out in your craft, too. I love that. Everything, you're, you hear what she said, everything you're experiencing will come out in your craft. That's right. I love that. Yeah. You look amazing. Baby number two. Baby number two. It's baby number two season. Rihanna, yes. baby number two. I know. You, baby number two. It's a few others I can't think of right now. So when is the baby two? Oh, it's going to be a Leo like me. Yes, Leo. Yes. Oh, that baby. Oh, <laughs> big sister. Big sister yes. better get it together. That's right. She's ready. She be like, I'm going to be a big sister. Oh. She kisses 
the oh, belly. She's so sweet. I yeah. Love I love it. Your family is so beautiful to see too on social. Beautiful black love is so important. Yeah. I'll take this one personally, just because I've been here from the very beginning, you guys. You don't know. It was, the critics were a little fugazi and a little shady with Snowfall in the beginning. And now look, you know, so to be here with this, in this moment, with this cast is just, it's everything for me. And just thank you for allowing me to be a part of their journey. My girl. Uh, like, what do you think that you can attribute the, the longevity to? I'm good. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Oh my goodness! Y'all know how I feel about Michael. It's been. It's like it feels like an eternity since we've been able to speak like this and just be like this. Congratulations on season six. Because I've been with these guys since its infancy. Since season one at the New York City premiere in 2017. And here we are. This is John's opus. This is the opus. We won't get any more work from the king, but his legacy is solid. How are you feeling tonight about all of this? Um, you know what? I'm feeling love. You should. I'm feeling a lot of love. I'm feeling um, a great deal of peace. Mm. Uh, it has, Sissy has spoken, you feel me? Yeah. Sissy has said what she wanted to say and it's okay to allow her to be. Sissy always gives me a scene, she always gives me something that just kind of lingers mm -hmm. and in season five during the wedding and you say to your son, you're waiting for white America, in a sense, to approve you, and that's never gonna happen. Like my jaw dropped, because I think for so many of us, we're always looking for that validation. You know, can you speak a little bit to that? Um, I, I think, I think, <laughs> 99.9% .9 of the African people in this country and in the Western world can speak to that, right? Um, the sometimes unconscious, you know, mm. it, it, you know, uh, uh, systemic oppression is deep, so that many times we don't even understand what's going on, yeah? But we spend so much of our time trying to assimilate, trying to get the job, trying to be like them, be down like them so that we can exist, so that we can feel validated, so that we can, um, and it is incredibly oppressive. It is incredibly distressing. I find, I speak for myself, it, it is a journey of then who am I? Um, to be able to let that go and allow yourself to exist in your own space and embrace the value of that. I knew you were going to give me something. Um, to let that go. Is incredibly empowering. I love that. I love that. It's been amazing to watch how cohesive the cast has grown like season after season the cast becomes more and more and more cohesive what is what is that you know what is that about you know how do you think that was able to happen oh well you know uh, um it has always been it has always been well, that was John. Um, you know, those first three okay, years so not of the to press you off, Michael, I, I've, I, we watch television for a living, and I'm like, that ain't a tight cast. That's not a cast that is working in concert for the greater good of the project. Mm -hmm. The cast of Snowfall works for the greater good of the project. Yeah, and 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 I, like that. That was John. I mean, th th John brought the unity. John brought, and and because. Maybe, maybe because we have seen so much of his work and we trust him, 
we this was this was more than just a job all of us knew that we were here to tell a story our story and simply because of that we were connected we were committed we were connected to each other there was a family that was immediate especially coming from the industry that we come from that we live in when we get an opportunity for five and six and seven and eight african people to get together and 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 and, and work what you know so it was it was organic it was automatic it's like you're starving for it you know oh, yeah and it is here <laughs> and you guys ate it up and i loved every second of it and the audience global audience loved every second of it congratulations michael continue blessings and success enjoy the moment i don't even want to say what's next because this is moment right here is all that matters right now and i know that i will see more of you anyway We gotta get caught up. Y'all know this is one of my faves, right? Y'all know I've gone on record a half a dozen times talking about how Leon was my favorite character and how I thought he had the most heart. Cause you remember he had to, he had to build that boy. He had to build that boy. He was in prison, shaking like a leaf. Leon came through and put that hammer down. Now look at your character. Now look at my character. Completely different man. What do you have to say about that, though? I'm just proud. I'm yeah. proud for the trajectory of this character. Um, the fact that he wasn't just one note all this time. He was able to grow and expand his mind. Um, that makes me very proud as an actor to be able to play this, this kind of character. Leon, I mean, I'm calling you Leon. <laughs> Season six, I mean, here we are. Like, what are you thinking right now? It's a lot of... It's because I'm sense. sorry, not not to cut you off, but when you shared with me, I think in season one or season two, and you talked about like giving up, and how your mom was like, "You got to go in for this. You got to apply for this." And now, just look, like, what are you thinking, man? Right now, I'm just so proud and, and grateful for everyone who's helped me on this journey. You know, because I didn't get here by myself. And I'm not going to progress by myself. So I'm just grateful. Like this moment is bittersweet, but it's more sweet than anything because this is like a once in a lifetime situation. You know, to be a part of a show that is so well received by everyone. I've, I've had people from all walks of life come up to me talking about how this show has impacted their life. So I'm just grateful for, for everything. Because it's history. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's John Singleton, of course. We miss him every day miss him every day what would you like to say to John you know if he were here right now and I know he's here in spirit but it's so hard for me to even be on this carpet because I'm so used to seeing him you know I'm like wow like he's got to be smiling down like we know he is like what would you what would you want to say I would first give him a huge hug and just say thank you thank you like I would have to sum everything up in that thank you because there's so much I can say to him. There's so much I can, you know, feel like I owe him, you know. Um, but I would just say thank you and just give him a big old hug. I love that. My yeah. final question. Your advice to actors who feel like they're tapped out in terms of pushing forward, propelling, because it gets so exhausting, taking all the L's, as young people like to say. You know, speak to staying inspired and encouraged. It's not easy. Um, it's a journey. We've all been there. Every actor has been to a point where they wanted to give up. And the key is to not give up. Um, I was going to give up right before I got this, this role. So imagine if I would have did. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here talking to everyone. I wouldn't have been able to share my art with the world. Yeah. So just don't give up. Just understand that everything has its ups and downs. And you got to just stick through it. You got to stick through it. I love that. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations and continued blessings and success. I cannot wait to see the next chapter of your career. I know you're going to blow my mind. I know you're going to blow my mind. I'm going to be right there. They got to wheel me out here. I'm going to be like, 
Where is he? I raised the boy on the carpet. I raised him up. <laughs> so good to see you, though. Mm, all the best. Hello. How are you? I'm glad for you also. Your friend is mine. Oh, we got a show off over here. I can't speak any Spanish, but congratulations on Thank you. being a member and of, the a, of the cast. Yeah. What resonated with you early on when you learned you were going to be a part of Snowfall? I was living in Spain. I had a different life. So wow. we can say Snowfall changed my life. The last seven years, I had to move here with my family learn a lot another language because <laughs> my English sucks still sucks but now at least I can make an interview with you and and yeah and moving with my family and my my kids and oh, and learning a lot uh, about the American industry American culture what has your character taught you about yourself because he's pretty intense I was just laughing and sharing a chuckle with a colleague here about that dog on tiger scene that you guys had in season five. That was crazy. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Um, well, you know, I don't, I don't watch the show. Are you serious? I don't watch my stuff. Now, now, maybe I'm gonna start to watch it because everybody says it's so, it's dope, it's dope. You have to watch it. Okay. Oh, I wait a minute. I, now you're really American because you're saying dope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's saying dope, so he's really American now. Yeah, um, yeah. N now maybe I'm gonna start to watch it because I, I don't like myself, you know. I get that. Yeah. I don't like to watch my tapes either, but you know sometimes you, you gotta watch do it this tonight. interview. I have to. Please. I will. Okay. For you. Okay. And your family, okay. who came Thank from you. Spain <laughs> and got their whole life changed. What is your advice to actors, you know, who want to do what you do, you know, who may have moments where they want to give up, you know. How do you inspire? Uh, well, to have patience, never give up. Um, study. Study. Uh -oh. And study. And study. There you and go. And make some theater. Oh, make some theater. Shakespeare. In yeah. Shakespeare, is the, Shakespeare is the clue. Shakespeare is everything. Okay. Chekhov and Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Thou knowest the mask of night upon my face. <laughs> <laughs> To be or not to be. To be or not to be. That is a question. Whether it's novel in the mind to suffer. Woo! Yeah, even, yeah. yeah. In French, it's easier in French or in Spanish. I love it. Thank you so much for thank your time. You. One question. Oh, one question. You thank, you from, thank you so much. Amen. Congratulations thank on you, season love. six, six years of this. Six love years you. of this. What does it mean to you to be here tonight, baby? It means John Singleton's legacy. It means being with people like yourself that have supported us from day one. Day one. Thank great you. Thank you. Great content. Mm. John Singleton's legacy. Oh, thank you so much, baby. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to Black in America. Thank you. Congratulations on all the success you're having with Snowfall. You, you know, what's so interesting to me is when you refer to John Singleton's Instagram, his social media, the last photo is a photo of you. Yeah. You know, what does it mean to you um, to have been tapped to be a part of Snowfall, knowing that it's the last project that we'll ever see of him? Well, I'm going to never, uh, it's, it's like I've been saying, it's an it's a absolute blessing. You know what I mean? For John to have seen something in me and um, allowed me the opportunity to read for this part and to get it is a blessing. And I'm thankful for it, and I thank God for John and everything he's done, because everything he touched turned to platinum. So, you know, I, I'm just grateful to be a part of it. I like that. Love that. You know, so what's your advice to younger actors who want to come into the game? Like, if you can give them any sage, you know, what would that be in terms of how to navigate your career? Make sure it's something you want to do. If you don't have a passion for something, regardless of what it is, I don't think it'll come to fruition. You won't, you won't be having fun and living life and earning and, and be building a legacy if you're doing something you don't want to do. It'll be like a, a hard job or, or torment going to work. It's a blessing for me to go to work. I love going to work. I don't never want to stop working. I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations and continue blessing.
here, get in here. Black Diamond, first of all, her name's not Black Diamond. That's, the, <laughs> that's her character's name on Snowfall. Her name is Christine. So let's just talk about being tapped to be part of John Singleton's legacy, Snowfall, the absolute last project in his body of work, in his canon. It's just jaw dropping. An honor, grateful, so excited to be a part of this legacy. Third season as Black Diamond, and I audition for this show every season. Woo! Talk about like, like stay in the court. Yeah, so I mean, it's just been a blast working with Damson, working this amazing cast and crew. It's been epic going on this journey. I feel like I was just telling my publicist, like, this is like a cult classic. This is a show people are going to watch 10 years from now, 15 years from now, and be totally engrossed. I remember saying in season one, I said, this show is going to go down in history. Absolutely. It is. You know, it is. And it was interesting because critics were, it was like a slow crawl with some critics, you know how that goes. I'm like, they ain't the right critics. Right. Wait till it land. Wait till it land. Right. Wait until it really lands. And then, then people will get on the boat. Better, better, better late than never. It's okay. They'll come around. You know what? Let's just talk about your own journey, right? You know, let's give some inspiration to younger actors, you know, who look up to you, follow you on social media, see all these amazing things that are happening. Of course, oh, well, that can only happen to her. Oh, not at all. Right. Look, that won't happen to me. I'm a girl from the Bronx, West Indian, got Jamaican and Bermudian blood running through me. And I just had a girl with a dream, just never giving up, believing in myself and having unshakable faith, knowing that I was meant for this and not letting tons of no's, tons of no's. But I knew what I was gifted with, so I didn't give up. Christine, what is a day in a life like for you when you're coming home from set? Because those days are quite long, 12 to 14 hour days. How do you decompress? You know what I mean? How do you like leave it all on set and get back to you? I light, I light a candle, play some good music, something that reminds me of me. Because when I'm getting in character, I'm playing I'm playing the theme music of my character. And right. Black Diamond on Snowfall, she's a little, she's a little hardcore. Yeah, yeah. So no, really just having a bubble bath and decompressing and remembering you know, who I am and just shaking it off and get ready to do it the next day. I love that. Let's talk about the skincare regimen real quick. <laughs> see, you guys don't see what I see, right? Every pore is tight. The pores are closed. The pores are closed. And she has makeup on, but it's not like that pancake in 1960s stuff. No, no, no. You can see the skin. Well, to keep it. You can see the skin. So let's just talk about the skin carriage. You know, water. Mind from the mind. inside. Hydrating, you know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, truly, I, I don't do a lot. Grapeseed oil, natural products, shea butter, grapeseed oil, just keep it very simple. And washing your face every day, truly. Not that makeup off. Sleeping your makeup. I don't do that either. I don't play that. No. I'm like, if, look, I gotta, I look like a 12 year old boy when these lashes come off, but that's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna, that's what it's gonna be. No, because so many people, I, I'm always baffled when I'm doing interviews and I'll hear someone say, oh yeah, if I have to get up the next day and, you know, do a show, I'll sleep in it. I'm like, ooh, ooh, no. But anyway, Christina, it's always a pleasure to see you. So good seeing you. Thank you so much. Thank you. One life to live. Yes. Amen. One life to live. So I show up every time. Yes. Always good to see you. God bless you, babe. Gail, who are you wearing? Thank you. I am wearing. Where? I am wearing Alex Perry. Oh, Alex Perry! And look, Tiffany Blue. Thank you. And I got on real diamonds. You know what? Why? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Likewise, she had to go. You guys, this was an amazing black carpet tonight. John Singleton's opus, Snowfall. Season six, the season finale. It's a must-see series, guys. I'm so proud of the growth of Snowfall. I've been covering this uh, title since it dropped in 2017. And here we are in season six, closing it out. And it's been an honor to be a part of this activation, interviewing the cast every single season through the pandemic with masks, virtual, all of that, to be back on the carpet with them is bittersweet because, of course, the fearless leader, John Singleton, is not here. We lost him a few years ago, 
when he suffered a stroke, but he's here in spirit and I know he's smiling down. Stay tuned to my coverage because it is absolutely amazing. I have Angela Lewis, who plays the incomparable Aunt Louie on Snowfall, giving us girl power. Whether you like the, you know, the root of it, but the bottom line, a woman asserting herself is a big thing, and it was still a very big thing in the 80s. So thank you so much for tuning in. You're watching Tanisha Laverne Grant for BlackInAmerica.com.